Mark Schwartz does most of his shopping online and until now, most of it on Amazon. But after coming across Nazi paraphernalia for sale on the U.S. and Canadian websites, Schwartz says he's boycotting the online retail giant. His dad is a Holocaust survivor. If you walk down to the local mall and you saw these, these Nazi flags and this Nazi paraphernalia being sold in the windows, you would totally freak out. People would not stand for it. In early November, Schwartz complained to Amazon. He got a message back from customer service with some typos saying it understood the sale of the Nazi flag was not acceptable and it would be removing it from its website, adding, I can assure you that these merchandises will be removed from our website very soon, as errors like this are usually corrected shortly after they're reported. But weeks later, Schwartz received this automated message from Amazon based on what he had been looking at online and suggesting an item he might be interested in purchasing. That same Nazi flag he'd complained about. I was absolutely flabbergasted. They, 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 didn't, they, they not only didn't take it off, they resent it to me almost to just, you know, kick me right in the face with it. Go Public has learned the Canadian branch of the international Jewish organization B'nai B'rith tried to get Amazon to remove the items in 2013. CEO Michael Mostyn says there is a link between the availability of Nazi items and the increasing number of anti-Semitic incidents in Canada. Our audit has shown over time that anti-Semitic words uh, or uh, imagery, um, particularly in an online social media world that we live today, it inevitably leads to anti-Semitic incidents. There are criminal laws against communicating hatred in Canada, but nothing that makes the sale of Nazi flags or symbols illegal. Still, marketing so professor Lindsay government. Meredith That's says CEO Amazon is taking a business job. risk. They could be risking a lot of public condemnation and a big potential social media backlash. Amazon didn't answer our questions, only saying that it wouldn't comment. After our inquiries, the photo of the flag was removed from the Canadian website, but the item is still for sale. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.